<laughs> feel like there's something on my mouth. <laughs> That'll get cut. Hey everybody, Dave on arrival here in Manila, Philippines. In late 2023, I had the opportunity to stay overnight in the famous Sofitel Philippine Plaza Manila, an iconic five-star resort on Manila Bay. I also had the opportunity to experience the laudable buffet restaurant called Spiral with my girlfriend Abby and part of her family. Spiral is a huge part of this Sofitel's hospitality, and it is renowned across the Philippines as the most luxurious buffet in the country. While Spiral serves three distinct meals per day, I was able to attend the dinner and breakfast buffet and will be featuring both in this video, starting with the dinner buffet. Spiral is famous for having 21 different buffet stations, or ateliers, or whatever you want to call them, and they all feature different kinds of food or different cuisines. So it's like you're eating around the world all in one meal. With such a huge variety, it is impossible to sample everything, so you have to be a bit choosy in the things you want to try. At the Filipino food station, they were serving a sort of fusion of Spanish and Filipino dishes that looked really good, though I didn't get the opportunity to try them. At the Thai station, they cook up fresh and delicious pad thai in front of you. The Italian station tosses different pastas in giant cheese wheels and offers to top it with parmesan as well. I got a kick out of that and it is one of my favorite spots in the buffet, because that pasta was good. The Chinese station features roast peking duck as well as Hainanese chicken and dim sum. I absolutely recommend the duck as well as the sauce they put on it. How are you liking the food so far? The best. The but, best? Yeah, but this is just the appetizer. Yeah, we have a lot more to go, eh? Yes. <laughs> Round one of many. For round two, I went to one of the more impressive things about Spiral. It has its own humidor room specifically for imported cheeses and cured meats. I think all of them were from Europe. Again, with dozens of choices just of cheeses, it was hard to pick what I wanted to try, but I got a couple different goat cheeses, goudas, and I'm not even sure what else. Then it got topped with some chili infused honey. Beautiful, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Some of the cheeses were really harsh in flavor, but I enjoyed trying them. Though Abby didn't like any of the ones that I let her try. The Japanese station has a big array of different dishes, including freshly grilled Wagyu. I recommend the miso soup. The Indian station features several meat and vegetarian curries that you can get with naan or other flatbreads. The meat station highlighted beef steak and also lamb, both of which are difficult to cook well when you do it in bulk like this, but I was actually impressed that they were cooked and seasoned pretty well, the beef being the better choice. Here you go, Thank, Thank you. you. I really enjoyed the Indian curry on this round as well as the steak. Oh, you got laksa. Yes, and pad thai and some dumplings. That brings us to the seafood and the sushi. I'll be honest and say that the seafood is hit or miss here. But a tip that I got is that you can collect some seafood here at the so-called Central Market and have them cook up a seafood pasta dish at the Italian station. I didn't try the sushi rolls, but what I did try was the sashimi. I got the salmon, tuna, and skipjack sashimi. The salmon was the only one that I liked because the tuna had a texture that I wasn't a fan of, plus the flavor wasn't all there. The skipjack should just be skipped, to me it didn't taste good. While the salmon had a bit of a fatty texture, it did taste really good. That brings us to dessert. You'll know when you're at the dessert station when you see the giant chocolate fountains. There's a big assortment of sweets here, including Halo Halo, a crepe station, tiny cakes topped with gold leaf, ice cream, and fresh fruit. The ube ice cream plus a couple of the cakes were too sweet for my taste, 
but they did have some delectable choices, including the chocolate cake and the guayabano sorbet. Thank you, Paul. So, dinner is over. I, I can't eat another bite. I am absolutely stuffed because with such a overload of choices, I just couldn't like decide what I even wanted, so I had to try like a little bit of everything, but I still couldn't get to everything. <sighs> but I'm so full. What about you, Abby? Yeah, I'm so full. Too. Very so. Yeah. <laughs> How was your experience in Spiral? Uh, it was a pretty, pretty awesome experience. This is one of the coolest buffets I've ever been to. It's just such a big variety. I just love the selection that they had. Not everything um, fit to my palate. Like some things were too sweet, some things were not seasoned enough, other things were a little overcooked, but there were some things that I really enjoyed. Like uh, probably my favorite was the steak. Like it's pretty hard in the Philippines to find a steak that I really like that fits up to my standards. And the steak here was pretty great. It was cooked about perfectly and it was pretty tender. So what did you like the most? The laksa. She liked the laksa the most. She's a big fan of laksa. The dessert was also pretty good. There's a good variety of desserts to choose from. They have puto bumbu, bibinka, bread pudding, creme brulee. Honestly, your birthday cake was probably the best dessert here. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Busug! <laughs> Busug. So tomorrow I'm going to show you the breakfast buffet. We're going to kind of compare what's going on and uh, see which is more worth it. Even though I can't fit anything in my stomach right now, I'm really looking forward to the breakfast buffet tomorrow. Stay tuned. <laughs> It's morning in the Manila Sofitel, which means it's time for breakfast. The first thing you'll see at the breakfast buffet is the waffle, pancake, and crepe station that also carries different types of puto and a big selection of pastries next to it if you want to fill yourself up on breads. The Japanese station had some interesting items such as grilled salmon head, but it is also the best place to get freshly cooked eggs. I wasn't expecting sushi to be on the breakfast menu, but here we are. The western station is the place to get bacon, ham, sausage, potatoes, or french toast. There is also a porridge station. Just tell them what you want on it. The Filipino food station always had a line at it for those who wanted garlic rice, tapa, tocino, fish, or hot dogs. I was excited to try the smoked salmon with capers as it's one of my favorite breakfasts. However, I was disappointed with the quality of the salmon. The flavor was off. I'd say the bacon and French toast were highlights for me, and you can't go wrong with the garlic rice and Filipino dishes. Abby liked the pancakes. Hi sir, bonjour, mabu, hi. <laughs> They're delivering food to us, that's amazing. Thank you so much sir, Thank you. enjoy. Of course, I wanted to revisit the cheese room. For the breakfast buffet, some milder cheeses are put at the forefront. So I went with the borzan, some cheddars, and smoked gouda. That's great, thank you. For a breakfast that packs a punch of flavors, the Indian station has some delicious curries. Less flavorful was the dim sum station. Unfortunately, I was too full to get to the omelet station to try that out. Hey, what you got there, Abby? Bigger life from my mom. <laughs> Bigger life, what is that? Uh, laxative. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it a digestive stimulant. <laughs> yes, because we ate a lot last night and then again this morning. <laughs> uh -huh. well, happy trails to us. 
To wrap this up, I'm gonna give my honest take on if Spiral Buffet is worth the high price to access. As of this video, the dinner buffet price is 4,400 pesos per adult on weekdays and 5,000 pesos Friday through Sunday. The breakfast buffet is 2,000 pesos on weekdays and 2,200 pesos Saturday and Sunday. Let's start with the breakfast. Is it worth the 2,000 pesos it costs? I would say it might be if you like don't eat anything the night before and you don't just fill yourself up on pancakes. What I would suggest is booking a room at the Sofitel that includes the breakfast in your stay. Not all of the rooms include the breakfast buffet, but if you book a room that includes it, then it's definitely worth it. For the dinner buffet, is it worth spending a minimum 4,400 pesos per adult? I have two answers for this. Again, I'm just going off my own opinion here. If I'm judging the dinner buffet based solely off the food, I would say no, it's not worth it. Because with the high price, I would expect more consistency with high quality and flavor. Some of the dishes I couldn't even eat because they, to, to me, they were just not good. If I'm judging the dinner buffet based on food plus overall experience, then I would probably say it's worth the money. The ambiance, the decorations, the service, 20, 20, 21 different ateliers, chocolate fountains, a room full of cheese, all these and more made it a really cool experience. So I recommend splurging at least once while you're in Manila. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Spiral and what your experience was. I'd really love to know your opinions. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure you subscribe to my channel for more content coming from the Philippines. Take care.